That's right, more progress. Make sure you leave a like on this video. This one's a little more serious. It's a late Friday afternoon, but uh, I hope that you'll watch it till the end because uh, there's something funny going on with YouTube and uh, reporting on the Bud Light stuff uh, and the individual behind the downfall of the brand. And I will show you statistical evidence of that. I will show you how they are now uh, essentially uh, de-boosting videos about this topic if you use this, a person's name in the title. Uh, how they're punishing creators, and uh, you know, it's it's ridiculous. Uh, there there isn't anybody that follows. Uh, I mean, I'm sure there are, but I'm certainly somebody who follows community guidelines uh, to a T. I've never been in trouble before, but for some reason, reporting on this individual and what's going on with Bud Light has already gotten one of my videos struck down. My appeal, which was lengthy, was denied. Uh, with no reason whatsoever, uh, given back. To, YouTube never even told me what I did wrong. I appealed what I thought maybe they were talking about, and they just declined it summarily and deleted an entire hour-long video that had lots of views on it too. Um, it, it, it's not okay, and this is why you know alternative tech platforms exist, and that's why. I, and this is also why I started the Publica. I know it's going to take a long time to, to grow the public and have it be like an alternative for creators and for myself uh, to YouTube, but this is exactly why I created it. Um, but also some great news too. Uh, Bud Light has now fired yet another individual, the one who was in charge of this ad campaign. Um, I'm, I'm going to show you first, let's talk about the good news, okay? Anheuser-Busch fires third-party agency, uh, that uh, t that ran the ad. And as Bush is telling U.S. beer distributors, it has fired the quote third party agency behind the Bud Light Dylan Mulvaney fiasco. Uh, by the way, Google and YouTube are fine running ads on all these mainstream news websites who are covering it. They just don't want creators to make any money or get any reach. If you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed, please do. It's probably the only way you'll see when I put out new videos. Uh, the Belgian-based conglomerate said the beer can at the center of the fire zone, which features Mulvaney's face, was not produced by Anheuser-Busch or in any of their facilities. Several distributors told the Post, quote, Ad agencies send out hundreds of influencer kits a year, some of which are customized, can included. This is one of those situations a distributor based in Texas told the Post. John Skeffington, chief executive of the family-owned Skeff Distributing in Decatur, Illinois, said in a Facebook post, the single can was produced by a third-party ad agency, not Anheuser-Busch. But see, it doesn't matter. Because Anheuser-Busch ran the ad. Anheuser-Busch did not apologize for the ad. Anheuser-Busch refuses to acknowledge it. So honestly, if they had come out immediately and been like, oopsie doopsie, um, you know, and, um, you know, we need to, you know, we're sorry, we're deleting this ad, we disavow. This would have been over months ago, but they won't. And now, as I reported in my first video today, the LGBTQ, LGBTQ community is now uh, 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 boycotting their, their beers in, in, in droves. And, you know, to people who, you know, people have their own opinions about stuff. But for me, it's not about who it is. It's about, you know, corporations in general getting political and forcing their political ideologies and things like this on individuals. I just want them to sell the product. Skeffington then went on to note, by the way, this is a distributor, uh, that his company does not produce products or make marketing decisions for the products we sell, adding that the firm and its more than 100 employees have been negatively impacted by this unfortunate event. Please don't allow one decision to jeopardize the goodwill we have earned over many decades of being good friends and neighbors um, in the communities we serve, Skeffington wrote. Well, I'm not going to drink your beer. I mean, you can, uh, you can just sell your beer whenever. I mean, you can just stock a different product if you're a distributor. Now, the mystery does remain about which marketing firm, in, in fact, connected Mulvaney with Bud Light. And as Bush placed two marketing executives on leave last month in Mulvaney's social media post, in which include a video, I don't, we already know the, we already know uh, what's going on. The upstate New York distributor who wants to remain anonymous said his Bud Light sales fell 27% in April and the downward trend continued in May. We are not out of the woods yet, he said. Two other distributors in Florida and Texas, where consumers and businesses alike have contributed to intense boycotts of Bud Light, said that they have seen the brand's decline slow down. 
The, F the Florida distributor who did not want to be identified said last week that his sales of Bud Light were down 12%. But over the past four days, our sales are almost even with where we were a year ago. He said, it's beginning to level out. The distributor added that most of the blowback is coming from customers who are in their mid 50s and older, and I doubt we'll get them back. The people who are 40 and under don't seem to be bothered. Well, I mean, certainly some of, at least a good chunk of them are, are, uh, you know, if you just divide it in half, are supportive of this type of stuff. Um, and then another third of them are probably indifferent. They're not online like we are all the time. They're not plugged into the, the culture war. They're just getting their beer. Um, and I'm sure there's plenty of people like that. Uh, but what I think is interesting is now Dylan's out on this apology tour where uh, they're on the Chelsea Handler podcast saying that the same people that go after him are the same people that go after women. Mm, no. And by the way, again, I, I, this is what I don't understand about YouTube's, by the way, I'm going to talk about that in a minute, but this is what I don't understand about YouTube. My position has always been like, there's zero reason to uh, go after uh, Dylan or, you know, berate him in the street if you see him or, or, you know, whatever the case is, like, it doesn't matter. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's, um, it's a symptom, not the cause. Bud Light made the decision. Bud Light made the decision to not say anything. Bud Light made the decision to release a mealy mouth apology that, uh, doesn't really say anything, does it? And, and, and to me, any kind of apology at this point is probably pointless. They just got to sit with it. Woman in the entire world. And the same people that are coming for me are coming for her. And it actually something clicked. And I went, oh my God, maybe what they're saying isn't true because I'm now watching them take out someone I love. I was saying this to you a little bit before we started, but the haters is kind of like, you have a big pile of stuff. There's always going to be, there's going to be some negative stuff. Right. You know, you have to learn how to focus on the positive and mm -hmm. all the people that you're impacting. And eventually it just rolls right off your back. And we both know how to, we have, know how to have a good time. Exactly. <laughs> and that's what, you know, I don't think they want to see that. There's an inner knowing that we all have and it doesn't matter if you were born a boy or born a girl, you have an intuition that comes with your wrong. We'll just stop right there. Um, you know, I think that, uh, Chelsea Handler, I'll just, you know, I'll go ahead and ignore her advice on, uh, human biology. But, uh, you know, what's interesting too, is I'm noticing now over the past couple of days, and I've mentioned this a week ago or so, uh, that YouTube is seems to be suppressing these videos yesterday um i had a video my video i think uh about the disavowal about um bud light coming out and disavowing the partnership okay uh this is the this is the video it was doing extremely well uh it got released uh and was going it was averaging about I don't know, a thousand, this is total views. Okay. So you want to see like a 45 degree angle. Um, it was getting like a thousand to 1500 views a minute. Uh, it was, it was at like 250,000. And then it, I, I watch it in real time, completely drop off. Now you can see here views essentially flatline. Well, I'm like, wow, what this video was doing so good. What happened? I went and looked and YouTube had demonetized it for no reason, by the way. Again, I always stay within community guidelines. So then as a test, I had Dylan Mulvaney's name in the title, right? I take it out of the title. 45 minutes later, the video is re-monetized and look what happens. It goes back up again. The video now has nearly 500,000 views. This to me is a clear indication that YouTube is um, trying to suppress videos covering this in particular to protect Dylan Mulvaney, uh, and this is why alt tech is so important. And this is why, um, on, on this, you know, this last video of Friday, I will, imp I, I would implore you, especially if you already back me on YouTube or your super chatter or something like that, please check out the publica. It's my news website. I have a brand new show coming out on here that will be on the publica, uh, starting, I think May 14th, whatever the third Tuesday is. Uh, and then it'll be weekly after that. We have daily articles 
going on here with real investigative reporters. Like this is a real investigative report we did on the YMCA stuff yesterday. We have on the street reporting with Savannah Hernandez. Please consider joining as a member. Read what our goals are. Look at the body of work that we have right now. Know that our new shows are coming out um, in May. We also have a members only Discord. Um, but right now I'm trying to keep as much content free as possible so I can earn people's trust and earn their backing. But if you use promo code the quartering, you'll get 50% off your membership for the first month. And um, I, I really would I ask that you back today because eventually this is going to get worse. And eventually the public will be uh, also we're I'm sorry, we're uh, built on Rumble. If infrastructure are powered by Rumble, so the videos here will not receive any suppression. The site is hosted on a free speech um, uh, sympathetic hosting service. The Publica is uh, really the future for me and for my partner and uh, Sydney Watson. And uh, I would really hope that you would join us. And I think you're really going to enjoy the show. So we've got FemK Ultra coming up. We've got my show, Dictated But Not Read. We've got all sorts of fun stuff. We've got another On the Street Report by Savannah Hernandez coming out in a few weeks. So um, please consider supporting uh, because these shenanigans with YouTube aren't going to get any better. I'm going to leave a link in the description. Um, Hop on over. Give us a couple months to earn uh, to show you what we've got coming. And uh, please do support us. Have a great weekend, and we'll talk to you again real soon.